Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap and I'm making another holiday soap today. This time it's Spruce Berry. And the thing about this fragrance is that it smells just like a Christmas tree to me. So I'm going to show you what colors I use and well, let's just get started with the video right away. Okay, I think I'm all ready here. I'm just going to blend this real quickly and I will get right back with you. Okay, so that is my oils, my coconut milk, kale and clay, some avocado oil in there, some other oils, but there's no palm oil. And I'm going to be soaping at about 73 degrees, fragrancing with a fragrance from Pete called Spruce Berry soaked with that before and I really love it. It's kind of, um, you smell it and you instantly think of uh, Christmas trees. The fragrance in there. Always a good idea to get that in there so you don't forget. Okay, everything to just emulsification. My two major colors are purple and green. So the name like spruce berry. I think that makes some sense. So let me pour for this lavender color. I'm going to watch this. I have some titanium dioxide because I want it really light. I'm easy on the purple because it might be okay without me having to lighten it. And then I want just little bits of these colors. That's my dark green. that this fragrance is kind of fast so I have to be fast too. The rest of this is going to be and this is the majority of the batter is going to be this green. I think I made enough because I just want that really lightly green too. Let's blend that. That's a nice green. Stir out some bubbles. So now it's turning a little split pea soup on me here, but I know that it's going to turn nice again. This is kind of typical of a lot of greens. So now I'm going to blend this light purple. going to add a little bit more just because with the pontification the purple and the color of the soap will not be as kind as the green was. Sister. It's thick, but it's behaving itself. I'm going to do one thing because I did want to get some white in there, but I'm going to be happy with a lighter green just to depict winter time. 
nice and subtle okay so the first thing is I want a lighter swirl throughout the soap so I'm gonna get this lighter green poured in there save some for the top and I'm gonna stir it in one direction only to get these little white streaks started out this one with a kind of a vision of what it's going to look like. Then I'm going to get this purple in there. Around the outside. Let's do that just a couple times. And get this darker purple, which isn't that much darker. It's just a little too thick to really pour, but I'll get that in. And then the dark green. Let's pour this. some of this darker green on the edges. darker purple. Let's get that in the middle too. Then I'm going to spread this out to the sides a bit just for something different. And sort of frost the top with this lighter green. So I want that color on the sides to show and then just take it away from the sides a bit.
And let's top this a little bit of glitter. So this is my spruce berry soap. I like how it turned out and we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, so let's cut into this spruce berry soap, which smells really good and it really to me smells like Christmas with the fur notes in it. like that. I really wanted that real subtle light green. Kind of playing with that swirl technique again. Not really sure what was going to happen, but that's what really attracts me to trying some things new because I like the discovery of the cut and being surprised by it. This did heat up quite a bit, so I'm going to, to um, hold back on the coconut milk next time. That's what happens when you make new recipes. And I think the sugars in the milk caused it to really heat up. I'm still going to have milk in the formula, but not quite as much. I don't like the real subtle swirls in that. And that comes from two different kinds of purple and two kinds of green. And that helps it blend together. If you think about it, if you just had one purple and one green, then you'd have a really strong contrast. But if you have a softer version of both those colors, it kind of buffers the harshness of the colors um, it's like an in-between color for both. And then there's that little bit of white or light green. It's almost like the theory of relativity for soap is that if you have a really light version of a color, sometimes it appears as white, but that's just because the other color is much stronger because these white swirls are really a light green, but against a deeper green, it shows up as white. I'm going to have to look back at the making of video because what I really do like about this as opposed to the other concentric circle pores is that um, as you recall remember when I was talking about the coral like look of the other soaps it was very stark and this is more fluid I think and I like that a lot and it's um, it's more than just the colors. It's it's the uh, the shape and severeness of the swirls. If you look back at the making of portion of this video, you'll see that. Um, I strengthened the purple because it looked like it was going to be a little bit on the gray side. So I'm glad I did that. It's because so batter is yellow, purple is purple, and those colors, when you mix them together, really cause grayness or brownness. And also remember 
at one point, after the lie worked on the green, it turned into a, like a pea soup green. But as I pointed out, once the soap cures, that green turns really beautiful again. I really like that deep green or that dark green right in there, just a little bit. I think this is the one of the only bars that was really affected by that crack from the overheating. And once again, these are really heavy bars because they're thick and they're tall. Thanks for watching as always been pretty busy lately but it's part of my routine to make soap and make a video so um, I like that it's just when I end up adding more creative things to my life that things go a little crazy but uh, I think I'd go more crazy if I didn't create stuff story of my life I think one more cut just to clean it up goes low here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. And we'll see you on the next video with another holiday soap. I really like that. Okay? Thanks again and bye everybody.